The Honourable Member for Haldeman Norfolk. Once upon a time, many Canadians trusted the Liberals that interest rates would stay low. Many purchased homes based on this promise. This Prime Minister then added more debt than all other Prime Ministers combined. Even Liberals like Mike Carney have said that inflation is principally a domestic story. For many Canadians, inflation is not a story. It is a nightmare. And some mortgage payments have risen by over $2,000 a month. Will these Liberals end in this inflationary nightmare and commit to cancelling their plan to raise taxes. The Honourable Minister for Families. Mr. Speaker, time and time again, the Conservatives have demonstrated that they don't care about supporting low-income Canadians and Canadians who are facing the high cost of living. When it comes to initiatives such as lowering taxes for the middle class or the Canada Child Benefit, or when it comes to child care, Mr. Speaker, who for families across the country are saving up to 50 percent in fees, that's thousands of dollars in their pocket every year. Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives have voted against it time and again. We know where we stand and we stand with Canadians. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Member for Haldeman Norfolk. Mr. Speaker, those benefits will never reach the average Canadian. These Liberals can help Canadians today by getting their spending and taxes under control. People on fixed incomes like seniors, veterans and those on disability are really suffering. Many have written to me saying that they can barely afford food to eat. 20% of them are skipping meals to save money and people are resorting to food banks. Will this Prime Minister commit to giving Canadians a break and cancel his his plan to raise taxes. You're here. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I don't know about the Conservative members, but I speak to real Canadians every single day. And today in Ontario, 86% of child care centres have signed on to the Canada-wide Early Learning and Child Care Agreement. And I've heard from families who are saving thousands of dollars. In fact, last week a woman in Toronto contacted me to say $4,000 is what her family is getting back, dating back to April 1st. Mr. Speaker, that's a lot of money in people's pockets that's going to help them with the high cost of living. And Mr. Speaker, we're going to continue to be there delivering real measures for real Canadians every single day. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.